Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math SAT Tips and Techniques video. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at exponents and radicals. Um, so you'll see problems dealing with exponents and radicals a lot on the SAT, and it's really helpful to have um, these basic rules down and memorized so that they're not tripping you up and trying to memorize how to adjust these, uh, you know, these expressions while you're trying to take your exam. Um, so we're just going to go over these basic rules that probably you've learned in class before, um, but that a lot of students struggle with on the SAT. And, trying to recall these things and just work stuff out. Um, so the first rule we have is that x to the a times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. Um, just to talk a bit about this, this comes from the fact that exponents is just repeated multiplication. Um, so 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 2 to the third. Therefore, if we have a number times itself a certain times, times the same number times itself a certain number of times. Of course, the answer is just going to be a plus b added together. That's like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Just count them all up and add them all up. Um, our next rule, uh, x to the a in parentheses with a b outside uh, is the same as x to the a b. Now, this rule is pretty uh, easy to understand, um, but it helps for simplifying numbers and making uh, larger numbers into smaller numbers. To see what I mean by that, say you have the number 8 squared, and we wanted to get that down to a smaller base. Well, I happen to know that 8 is 2 cubed, so if we replace 8 with that, now we have 2 cubed squared. And now we can just apply this rule and get it to be 2 to the 3 times 2. And that becomes 2 to the 6th. And that's a much uh, simpler and lower base way of, of referring to that, especially if you were going to apply one of these other rules. Um, if you want to have the same base. All right, here we have xy to the a equals x to the a times y to the a. This is another good rule for simplifying, especially when you have a radical sign um, inside of a square root. So say we have the square root of something like 50. Um, and remember, the square root is the, saying, is the same as raising it to the power of 1 half. Um, so here it's 50 is inside, and it's raised to the power of 1 half. And if we break 50 up, it's the same as 2 times 25. And that's the same as saying the square root of 2 times the square root of 25, which we know is 5. So that's another, uh, another tool that will really help you simplify things. Um, this is the way to uh, convert between exponents and radicals. x to the a over b equals, um, basically you write it this way, b th root of x to the a. Um, so this can apply if uh, b is just 1. Well, we see that that's just x to the a, and you have no radical sign at all. So x to the 4 over 1, that's just x to the 4th. And you don't need to write the radical sign for that. Whereas if the number on top is a 1, and say x to the 1 half, that's x to the 1, so we don't need to write that. Um, and the square root, and for the square root sign, we don't usually write the 2. Um, next, we're going to look at when you have a fraction. x to the a over x to the b equals x to the a minus b. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory, but we can do another. We can just do an example of that. We have 2 to the 4th over 2 squared. That's um, by this rule, that's 2 to the 4th minus 2. That's 2 squared. Uh, here is x over y to the a equals x to the a over y to the a. Um, so if you have a fraction and it's squared, you can see why this rule is, because um, 2 thirds squared is the same as 2 thirds times 2 thirds. And to multiply fractions, you just multiply across the top and across the bottom. So that's 2 squared over 3 squared. 
equals four ninths. Uh, and finally, we have x to the minus a equals one over x to the a. Um, so that just means if you have an x, a, uh, exponent with a negative sign, you just flip the side of the fraction that it's on. Um, so that can work with the top or the bottom. Four to the minus one is equal to one fourth, and one over four to the minus one is equal to four. So whatever side of your, I forget what this line thing is called, I don't know if there is a word for that, but whatever side of the fraction that it's on, if there's a negative sign, you just flip it to the other side. All right, so we're just gonna run through a couple practice problems just to help you get prepared. Um, make sure your mind is working for the SAT. I'm gonna switch to the other board. Um, so we're gonna simplify each of these expressions. I have a couple of more difficult ones down at the bottom. You're probably not going to see anything this complicated on the SAT, but it helps to tackle harder problems when you're studying so that when you get to the SAT, things will seem easy. Um, so simplify the square root of eight. That is pretty simplified, but another way to write that um, would be using the rule square root of eight equals the square root of two cubed. And if we take an even number out of that, that's the square root of 2 uh, squared times 2. So that's 2 root 2. Here we split this up into two parts. The square root of 2 squared is just 2, and the 2 stays inside. Next one, um, 2 over square root of 2 to the 3 halves. Let's start by distributing that 3 halves, and we'll also write this as a fraction. So 2 to the 3 halves over 2 to the 1 half to the 3 halves. And if we remember our rule, we just need to multiply these two together. So we have 2 to the 3 halves over 2 to the 3 fourths. And now uh, our final rule that we're going to apply, we just sub, um, subtract the exponents to get it all in one term. So 2 to the 3 halves minus uh, 3 fourths. Now 3 halves is, is the same as 6 fourths, and 6 fourths minus 3 fourths is 3 fourths. Next one, we have the square root of 2 to the 7th over 4. Um, I recognize right away that 4 is a power of 2, so there's going to be some canceling going on. And let's write 2 to the... Uh, Let's write the square root of 2 as 2 to the 1 half. So 2 to the 1 half, 2 to the 7th over 2 squared. We're going to multiply these exponents. 2 to the 7 halves over 2 squared. And that's just subtract. 2 to the 7 halves minus 2. 2 is the same as 4 over 2. And that is equal to 2 to the 3 halves. All right. This one has x's and y's um, and z's. We just need, it's uh, x to the 1 third, y to the 5 sixths, z, over z to the 3 quarters, x to the negative 1 third. All right. So, there's just a y on top and a y on bottom. That's going to stay the same. The x on top, x to the one third, and x to the negative one third. We can subtract those. So we'll start with x to the one third minus minus one third. So that becomes plus. Y stays the same. And z. This is really z to the one, and we'll subtract z to the three over four. So in this way, we've eliminated the bottom terms. And that will just simplify to x to the 2 thirds, y to the 5 sixths, z to the 1 fourth. All right, last one. 
x squared y in parentheses to the negative 3 halves is e to the minus 1 all over x, to the, x times y to the 3 halves times z to the minus 2. All right. As I said, you're probably not going to see something this complicated on the SAT, but it's helpful to know how to do stuff like this and not to panic when you do see it. All right, I'm going to start by distributing the, this minus 3 halves. So x squared times minus 3 halves, y times minus 3 halves. That z is negative, so I'm going to flip it down to the bottom. Put you right here. I'm going to keep this x and y as they are for right now. And this z is also negative, so I'm going to flip it up to the top. Okay, I'm going to multiply these two, and then I'm going to deal with my y's and z's. So x squared, then minus 3 halves, that becomes x, the 2's cancel, to the minus 3. y. Um, y is actually, I'm going to put that, because it's negative 3 halves, it's going to go down into the bottom. So keep that x as it is. And that'll become y to the 3 halves, this one, times another y to the 3 halves. So we'll add them together. And here is z squared over z. The one z cancels and we get z on top. Finally, x is minus 3, so that's going to go down to the bottom as well. And we get x cubed times x is x to the fourth, and y to the three halves plus three halves is y to the third. Uh, so that's our simplified form of this version. Um, I hope this was a helpful reminder for you to brush up on your exponent skills. Um, good luck taking your SAT and good luck for the rest of your studying. So thanks for watching.